the intention is good. We wanted to make sure that police could safely enforce red light running at traffic signals. Newport News' Chief of Transportation Engineering Jacqueline Castle says that's what each of these blue lights do. And they're not terribly expensive compared to other traffic monitoring equipment. So far, the city spent just over $12,000 putting them in at seven intersections. Engineering met with the police department to figure out a way to help um, police do enforcement uh, for uh, traffic signals. Um, uh, Red light running is a big problem of major crashes, so um, the uh, enforcement lights were suggested. But the numbers Castle gave me tell a different story. Running red lights caused less than 10% of crashes in Newport News over the past three years. I asked the Newport News Police Department directly why these blue lights went up. It's a tool in the toolbox to kind of make things a little easier. And is it a tool that officers are using? Well. I guess, I mean, it's there. I don't, I couldn't tell you how many are, uh, are using it, but it's, it's there. But see, it's, it's so new. So far, it looks like not much. Officers didn't issue more citations after the blue lights went up at two of these intersections than they had before. Sitting at an intersection and actively watching for people mm -hmm. to go through red lights, is that a big part of what officers do? I wouldn't say necessarily a big part. It, it, it depends. It depends on the situation of the day. I mean, are we having a lot of calls about other things? Uh, you know, has there been a complaint at a given traffic signal where people are running red lights? So it's not, um, we're not sitting watching red lights and letting other things fall by the wayside. Whether these blue lights are a tool that officers use often or not, they'll soon be standard for any new light that's put up in the city of Newport News. It's only been a few months and uh, it takes getting used to.